During the 2023 Berlin Fashion Week, Namilia, a fashion brand hailing from Berlin, Germany, caused quite a stir with its collection, titled, In Loving Memory of My Sugar Daddy. This so-called rebellious fashion show presented a wild and audacious display, with messages that some may view as morally questionable. Namilia has been described as a rebellious and unapologetic brand, catching attention with their peculiar garments, like the penis and sleeves, items that are as bizarre as their names suggest. The brand's founders, Nan Lee and Amelia Fole, use fashion as a means to express their beliefs and ideals. However, upon closer examination, it becomes apparent that these beliefs seem to center around mocking Christianity, with a tinge of what some might associate with Satanism. Curiously, they avoid openly acknowledging this, instead, choosing to explain their work under the umbrella of feminism. Yet, their version of feminism comes across as demeaning, toxic, and hostile towards masculinity. In essence, Namilia's entire ethos appears to align with the hidden agendas of a select, secretive elite. Their vision seems geared towards promoting a faithless, dehumanized, and self-degrading culture, essentially advocating a lifestyle that may not be in the best interest of society. Despite any controversies, Namilia has experienced a rapid ascent to fame since its establishment in 2015. The brand has made waves in major fashion events, earned praise from renowned outlets like Vogue magazine, and gained popularity among high-profile celebrities such as Rihanna and Cardi B. At the Barbie premiere, we saw influencers sporting Namilia outfits. However, many folks in the comment section felt that they didn't fit in at the event. But here's the thing, Namilia and Barbie both play into the same globalist agenda, so, it's not surprising to see them together after all. Now, in the past, Namilia's designs have always been quite daring, but their spring 2024 fashion show took things to a whole new level by mocking Christianity in the most tasteless manner imaginable. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. During the third night of Berlin Fashion Week, all the talk was about the Namilia Fashion Show and their latest collection called In Loving Memory of My Sugar Daddy. The name itself refers to a controversial concept where young women engage in relationships with older men for financial gain until the older men pass away, most likely due to their age. While it may not technically be classified as prostitution, it certainly falls within a similar realm, and this is the kind of feminism that Namilia seems to endorse. But that's not the only concerning aspect. The show combines this sexual context with references to Christianity, leading to questions, like, is Jesus being likened to a sugar daddy? It's a messy situation, and it deserves a closer examination. The shirt reads, you can't enter heaven unless Jesus enters you, and it's highly likely that there's a disturbing and sacrilegious actual innuendo hidden in that message. Moving on to the back of the outfit in the earlier photo, there's a crucifix placed on her back, leaving no doubt that there's indeed a sexual innuendo intended. Take a look at this. Do they genuinely love Jesus? Or are they just mocking him with the revealing lower part of the outfit? Let's take a closer look at this outfit. The top says Jesus first. Not comes first, the other spelling which refers to a job. That's the type of filth we're dealing with here. The shirt says VIP. Underneath is written very important. Now that's classy. Speaking of classy, here's this outfit. The top features two crucifixes, oddly used to cover the but that's not all, it also has the letters VIP, which, as we've already seen, don't stand for very important person. To add to the spectacle, there are demonic nail designs and a G-string, making it a perfect choice whether you're heading to work or hitting the gym. Quite the eye-catching ensemble, to say the least. 
In this fashion show, a recurring theme that catches attention is the blend of Christian imagery with intensely sexualized bondage accessories. And, to add another layer of controversy, this fusion of elements also carries a strong satanic undertone. Now, take a close look at this photo. A crucifix adorned with SM style spikes. It's clearly all about blasphemy and pushing boundaries. Bulnamilia is said to be feminist, the words printed on their garments are not exactly uplifting. In fact, they are degrading and reek of self-loathing. Wow, her shirt boldly states That's rather forward. Why not just put the words on the top while we're at it? They've put on the top. In German, Schwein translates to pig. Why are these so-called feminists likening themselves to pigs? It brings to mind Demi Lovato's recent song, Swine, where she also draws a comparison to Swine. The trend is rather puzzling, to say the least. The model seems visibly embarrassed as she struts around in this outfit. I mean, she's wearing a distorted crucifix with the words "cutting season on her private parts. And check this out. The top is covered in crucifixes, while the bottom reads trash. If you're anything like me, the word degenerate is likely echoing in your mind right now. I bet you've had enough of this too. However, I can't ignore another troubling aspect of this show that aligns perfectly with the twisted agenda of the elite. Every male model in the show was dressed in revealing women's clothes, talk about a provocative choice. Bro, what are you doing with your life? If there's one thing the elite hates more than Christianity, it's masculinity. While Namilia is often labeled as rebellious, in reality, there's nothing rebellious about it. Instead, the fashion show we witnessed earlier, strictly adheres to the oppressive dogma imposed by the occult elite. They want us to embrace their global culture, and magazines like Vogue promote these creations as art. The creators of the brand themselves admit that fashion is just a tool for their propaganda, celebrating their true religion. Satanism. Their mission includes dehumanizing women, feminizing men, and glorifying all things sick, twisted, degrading, and unnatural. On a broader scale, the goal is to create a generation that loathes itself, devoid of self-respect and self-esteem. Namilia's shirts with words like and schwine or pig are not about being cool or edgy, they simply reflect how the elite perceives the masses and wants them to believe it too. Considering all this, there's a single word that aptly describes Namilia clothing. Trash. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.